Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square and welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how you can stack the pagination links on a blog post or a project inside your Squarespace website. These pagination links will either lead to the previous or next article on a blog post, or if you have a series of projects inside a portfolio, you'll find pagination links at the bottom to take you to the previous or next project. All these are a great feature built right into the Squarespace collection page types, on mobile, they get really squished, and personally, my blog post titles are kind of long, so they end up looking pretty terrible. Luckily, with a little bit of CSS, we can actually stack those links, having the previous on top and the next on the bottom so the text is no longer stuck in a tiny little space. Now, the code I'm about to share with you is listed in the description below, but I'd love to show you how to install it in your Squarespace website. We can add it site-wide or to an individual blog or individual portfolio inside Squarespace. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen and show you how to set this up step by super simple step. Let's get started. Here we are inside Squarespace, and I want to take a look at the mobile view of our site to show you what we're going to change. Here you'll see the actual titles for the previous and next blog posts. They're pretty squished next to each other. And if you have long post titles like I do, it's going to be difficult to read and not look great. So what we're going to do is use this CSS code to separate them so that they get their own lines. And I'll show you how this works. We're gonna to navigate to design and then select custom CSS. And I'll just paste the code right here. And now we have the previous article on the top and the next article on the bottom. Those are completely separate lines and the text will wrap around if it gets longer than the actual width of the page itself. So the most important part about this code is that we just changed the direction of the flex to column instead of row. And then after that, we've adjusted the width of the link to be 100%, and I gave it a little bit of a margin at the bottom so that they're separate and easily clickable and accessible on a mobile device. Now you can adjust these values however you see fit, maybe change that to 80 if you want there to be a bigger difference between the titles. And if you don't want it to stretch the full width of the screen, even 50 VW will keep it to half the width. I think that 100 makes it a little bit better because the whole point was to stretch these titles out so we could read the entire blog post title. So again, these are the only two parts of the code that you're going to want to change. Now, this code will change every blog on your website and will also change portfolio and project links. So I'll show you how to install it on an individual blog if you only want it to happen on one blog on your website. We're going to take this entire code. We'll select save. You'll notice that they've reset to where they were before. And we're going to go back to our pages menu. Here, we can click this gear icon for the settings for the actual blog itself. And under advanced, I want you to select post blog item code injection. Here, we can actually enter a style bracket to make sure that the browser understands we're about to give it some CSS code. Then I'll paste our code right here and select save. And if we scroll down to the bottom, you'll see that the titles have separated just like they did when we applied this using the site-wide CSS file. So again, click on this gear icon and select advanced. And here you can select post blog item code injection. Just make sure you add these style brackets before and after your code so that the browser understands you're about to give it a CSS code. Now, this will only work if you're using a business or commerce plan. If you are using an individual plan, you'll need to navigate to design and then select custom CSS and paste the code here. Underneath this video, you'll find the codes that we just used to stack that pagination on mobile. Just make sure you install it in the way that works perfectly for your own website. Thank you so much for watching this quick tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, give me a like and a comment and definitely subscribe to my channel because I post a brand new tutorial every single week and I wanna make sure you catch the latest. Now, if this is your very first time trying custom CSS in Squarespace, congratulations. It is a super easy way to customize your website and I'm really glad that you gave it a try. When you're ready to learn more, head on over to insidethesquare.co forward slash learn. There you'll find my free class on the basics of CSS for Squarespace, because trust me, there is so much more that you can do, and I can't wait to teach you. Again, that's insidethesquare.co forward slash learn. Thanks again for watching this tutorial, and most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. If you like this tutorial, you'll love my Squarespace CSS cheat sheet. Now available on Notion, you can access over 500 selectors for customizing your Squarespace website. For lifetime access, visit insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.